college to become a journalist. I went to UC Berkeley to become a journalist a number of years ago, and I became a bass player. <laughs> Very funny. Um, yeah, I was introduced to the bass in college, and uh, I fell in love with the bass guitar, and I called my parents and said, hey, I'm leaving Berkeley, and I'm going to go and pursue this career as a musician and bass player. Of course, my parents were livid. Well, my dad was livid, but my mom was really supportive of that idea because she was the dreamer, and she was the one who taught me to dream. So I, I want to make this really short because I want to talk about the topic of having fun. So I ended up uh, playing. I, I was used to play every day at home. I used to go home and play. I mean, I really fell in love with the bass. Um, and uh, I went to this bass camp that was held by this incredible bass player by the name of Victor Wooten. Victor Wooten is probably one of the best bass players in the whole entire world. Um, and he was having a bass camp. And of course, because I started playing bass, I wanted to learn from the best. So I went to his base camp and I asked him, uh, well, we had to introduce ourselves by playing um, the first night we got there. So I asked him if I could rap and play because that's what I was doing. And he said, is that what you do? I said, yeah, that's what I do. He said, okay, well then do what you do. So I said, okay. I, I had written this song, right? It was my first song on bass. It was called the D.I. And it went something like this. Yo, it's the D.I., the V.I., the N.I., the T.Y. You wanna be I, baby, you can't see I. D.I., the V.I., the N.I., the T.Y. Somebody say I. The D.I., the V.I., the N.I., the T.Y. You wanna be I, baby, you can't see I. The D.I., the V.I., the N.I., the T.Y. Somebody say I. So I did this at this base camp, right? So Victor. <laughs> so Victor asked me if I, if I wanted to go on tour with him. After <laughs> yeah. yeah, so he goes, uh, after the camp, you know, he calls me at my house and he says, do you want to go on tour? And I was like, yeah. He said, do you have any more songs like that? I was like, yeah. But I did not have any more songs like that. I really didn't. That was the only song that I had written and practiced and learned on bass rapping at the same time, you know. But I was not about to lose the opportunity to tour with the great Victor Wooten. So I said, yeah, man, I got a lot of songs like that, you know? I can open up the show, and I can do this, that, you know? So he took me on tour with him. And I opened up the show, and the very first show was in Atlanta, Georgia, in my hometown. And I stood on that stage with my dad in the audience, and I played my D.I., and everybody in the audience went crazy, and my dad is like, wow, kiddo. You can do this. <laughs> but can you imagine for him, I did not grow up playing bass guitar at all. There was not one moment in my childhood where I played a guitar or asked for a guitar and didn't get one for Christmas or something. Or, you know, like it was never even brought up. And I go to college, pick up this instrument, fall in love, and now I'm touring with the best bass player in the world. Whoa, that was mind blowing. I did play the clarinet as a kid, but that's not the same. It's not the same thing. So shortly after the Victor Wooten, um, I mean, after I toured with Victor, I got way better. So I started writing songs like, uh, I'll play it really quickly, a song called Rebel. Uh, Put it to this method, baby. It ain't no other who can bring it on this level, baby. I go with my watch. 
especially in business, especially other women. So a space like this is so amazing. It allows you to be vulnerable, it's supportive, and the fact that you took the time to seek out a space like this, I commend each and every one of you because some people don't do that. That means that you already know that you have to go out and find that thing which makes you whole again. And um, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So thank you so much.